You may have heard the photo feature in Plan Grid referred to as a progress photo feature. The reason is that this feature can be used as a helpful tool when it comes to showing the progress of work over the life of the project. With the availability of several options to manage photos along the way, you can easily share updates and issues with other team members on the project in real time. For example, suppose a week has gone by and the contractor has made progress on the basin, bringing the biofiltration media up to grade, per the plans. You want to take a picture to note this work in the same area. Should you remove the old picture that you took or add a new photo in that general area? Neither. Instead, you can select on the photo stamp for the earlier photo. This will open up the familiar pop-up window with several options to manage your picture group. You will select Add, located in the upper right-hand corner, and in this case, you are choosing a photo from your photo library on the iPad. So choose Select from Photo Library. Once you've selected the photo you want, select Done, and the new photo or photos will be added to the same collection as your old photo. A helpful reason for adding a new picture or pictures to an already created group is that each picture has what's called metadata, or data associated with that particular picture. So, for example, if you select this picture in the project and then select the details located in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, you will see lots of details about this individual picture, including the picture title, which you can update easily by selecting it and typing in a new one. The creator when it was taken and added to the plan sheet, as well as the GPS location, or latitude and longitude coordinates. This is a great feature for record-keeping purposes, because as you add updated pictures to a particular picture stamp on the plan sheet, you are essentially generating a time-lapse of work on the project. Using the Photos tool for progress photos provides a great way for you to capture the progress of work visually. For example, this tool has proven useful in tracking progress on a bridge project, starting from the time the first pile was driven all the way until the last piece of railing was installed. You are encouraged to set up as many progress photo stamps as is appropriate for your job and update them as appropriate. You might even try noting progress photo stamps in a different color as a way of making them stand out. Some users also recommend taking progress photos of main components on the project like a major intersection, for example, on the title page. Storing progress photos on this main page will make it easy for anyone to quickly review the project's progress. So, returning to your collection of photos, note that there are several options available to manage your photos in a group, or photo stamp, located in the photo stamps pop-up window. For example, just like you were able to edit the title on an individual photo, you can also add a title to a photo group, by simply selecting the word Photos in the upper middle of the Photo Stamp pop-up window and typing in a new title. You could also move your photo group to a different place on the plan sheet by selecting the Move option and dragging the group to a new location on the sheet. You could also choose to delete a photo by selecting the picture you would like to delete and then selecting the trash can icon at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. If you want to delete the entire picture group, you can select the trash can icon without selecting any of the associated individual pictures. If, at any time, you would like to view all of the pictures in a project to get a big picture overview of what's happening, you can go back to your Sheets view and select More at the bottom of the screen and then select the Photos button. This will show you all of the photos that have been added to the project to date. You can also switch views to the Map view by selecting the map icon in the upper right-hand corner of the screen to get a view of pictures in relation to their locations. This is especially helpful if you have a very linear roadway project, or something similar, where you may want to quickly and easily go through all of the different pictures to see what has happened on the project so far.